So today I have two sewing makes to share with you and the first one is McCall 7660 and this is just a simple pullover top and I made it out of a knit fabric and it's kind of ribbed if you can see that and it's really really simple it has like the little I guess you call it like a mock turtleneck and then the bands at the sleeves and the band around the waist so it's really easy to put together if you are looking for a pullover top I would definitely recommend this pattern so that is it it doesn't have any darts or anything it's just super super quick and easy and I really really love it okay so now my next sewing make is a dress and let me get the pattern number this is butterick 6680 with a twist so i made view a and on the pattern you can see that view a is sleeveless and i actually made the sleeveless version before and it was the long view i'm not sure what number that one is but or what letter that is but i made the long view but this time i made the short view and I decided to add sleeves to it. So I had never added sleeves to a pattern before, but what I decided to do was to use another pattern and match up the arms hole so that I can see if the two patterns would match up and then I would know that the sleeves would fit or at least I felt that they should fit. So I'll go ahead on and show you a little bit about what I did with the pattern and then I'll show you the sewing make. Okay, so what you see here is the front piece of the Butterick dress pattern. And this is the little armhole opening. Of course, there's one on each side. What I decided to do was to go through my patterns and I wanted to find a pattern that would match up with either of the arm openings, either side. And I found this pattern here, which is McCall 7061. And I used the front piece from this pattern and I lined it up with the front piece of the buttery pattern. So I took the front piece of the McCall's pattern and then I just lined up the edges to make sure that they matched. And I figured that as long as it matched just fine, then the sleeves should fit with no problems. And it actually worked. <laughs> Okay, so this is the actual dress and where's the front? Okay, this is the front and I found this fabric at Savers and it's blue and black and it has stripes. So I really love that because I like striped fabric a lot. And this is the pattern that has the little ruching on the side. And yeah, the sleeves fit just fine. So I was really excited about that. I'm so glad it worked and i did not do any hemming on the sleeves the edge of the sleeves or around the hem i just left everything unfinished and that is it i really like it it's really really simple and easy to put together and i will put a link to the first version that i made which was in a red and white vertical stripe so i will put that in the description and i'll try to put a card up here somewhere too if you want to click on the card but yeah i will go ahead and show you what these two sewing makes look like on
So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So if you have renter's insurance or homeowner's insurance, and if you are ever asked by authorities to mandatorily vacate your home for any reason, so for example, if there's a fire or some kind of storm or some emergency going on in your area, if you are ever asked to leave, you can possibly make a claim with your insurance company to be compensated for any out-of-pocket expenses that you may incur while you are away from your home, which would be such things as hotel expenses, maybe gas and food. So yes, that is just something I wanted to pass along just in case you have to leave your home for some reason or you know someone else that may have to and they may not be aware that that is something that they could inquire about to see if they can be compensated for some expenses. So yes, thank you so, so much for watching and you will see me in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.